the back opens with the key here to reveal wonderful engraving and yet this would never be seen by the normal uh, users and, and visitors to the clock. It would be up against a wall and yet all this beautiful engraving has been done. The central part of the engraving is an urn with flowers coming out the top and Thomas Tompion Londini fake it. Thomas Tompion was one of the first people in the world to number his production and you can see at uh, the bottom there it's stamped number 381 381. Tompion had a wonderful eye and even that simple cock for the verge um, pivot um, is, has got a beautiful shape into it and the cock has a flow which fits in with the engraving all round it. The two quarter repeat chords, one each side, are linked together with this cross lever mechanism which interlocks so that when I pull this lever, the other lever will operate as well and the quarter bells will start. Pulling the lever, letting go. Half past four. So even though most of this beauty was never seen by the user. Um, it's in the great tradition of British clock making. Just like uh, John Harrison in his uh, watches which went to sea, the detail inside was only seen every 50 years by somebody cleaning them. And yet he spent hundreds of hours making a most beautiful object. And this is the tradition of a beautiful object the engraving, um, the, it's all blended in as a holistic beauty and yet it was probably never seen.